What's up, man? 25 Gamers. This week's Team of the Week is the Denver Broncos, and here we're going to work at their depth chart now. we got Peyton Manning uh, taking over the NFL right now, and we're going to put him, obviously he's going to start uh, back up as Brock Osweiler, 6'7", uh, dude with a cannon. Uh, running back, we got Ronnie Hillman, uh, Monte Ball, and No Chabrino. Uh, nothing too fancy here. Ronnie Hillman's just going to be just good enough to get us by. Um, no fullback in our offense. Wide receivers, we have Demarius Thomas, Eric Decker, Wes Welker, and Audrey Codwell, if we ever need to sub him in here as a replacement. And these three receivers here, in my opinion, are the best three in the game as a combination. Tight end, we have Julius Thomas. Uh, if he starts dropping, day, uh, dropping a lot of passes, I'll sub in Jacob Tammy with a better catch of traffic, better catch rating in general. But they're both really pretty effective in this game. Defensive end, uh, this is where you need to pay attention for the 416 defense. Your left defensive end is going to be Vaughn Miller. Your right defensive end is going to be Robert Ayers. There's only one defensive tackle in this defense, and that's going to be Terrence Knighton. The other defensive tackle does not actually play in the game. The other, uh, the guy who lines up as the other defensive tackle is your left outside linebacker, and that's going to be Sean Phillips. So you see we have almost like a nickel NASCAR type of look here. And our middle linebackers, Wesley Woodyard, probably the best overall linebacker on the Broncos except for Vaughn Miller. No right outside linebacker in this defense, uh, so I just put Danny Trevath in there. Cornerbacks, there's three of them, Champ Bailey and Chris, and I uh, put Chip Bailey and Chris Harris on the outside, and I put DRC in the slot because of his speed and athleticism. If they have a good slot receiver, he can keep up with them, but also for our pressure off of that off of that sugar 3DB fire play, he's going to be coming in hot off that left edge. Safeties, uh, your free safety, you want to have Quint Carter here. He's going to be your primarily user player, uh, so just note that. And then your strong safety, this is very important. Your first string strong safety is your blitzer. So make sure that's not Raheem Moore. That needs to be uh, Duke and Inacio here. He's got good hit power. And then Raheem Moore is your deep strong safety who's uh, not going to be your user player and has to roam uh, a lot of times cover the deep blue area of the field or the hook zones himself so he needs to have good zone coverage which is exactly what he, Raheem Moore has uh, which makes him perfect for this defense and then obviously kick returners uh, we have Trenton Holiday and I like to put Caldwell in as backup and then a punt returner we have Trenton Holiday and I like to put DRC as his backup here so that's the Denver Bronco depth chart, guys. Be sure to set it however you want, but I think this works best for the scheme of the week. Uh, it optimizes them for a three, uh, a three by one, uh, three wide receiver, one tight end, one running back set, and also optimize them for the four one six defense. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out the game of the week, and we'll see you guys next week with another great team of the week. Thanks for watching. See you next week.